So two of the key tools you need are a chainsaw uh, and a clipboard. Uh, these electric chain part, chainsaws that come out nowadays are fantastic. So we're gonna start off by making a quick little hash mark in the snow and then cutting across our lines, about a, two lines about a meter apart. I'm gonna go about uh, three to four inches deep, deep enough that nothing like the ski poles can't hit the wire and nothing can cause the wire to come back up. Start by installing the wire loop in the end that has overlapping uh, cross marks at the, at the two corners. And what you do is you push the wire loop down into the groove and then use your clipboard to push it all the way down. Once the wire loop is all the way at the bottom, use your heel to pack down the corner so there's no way it'll come out of that corner. Then go to the second corner and repeat the process with the clipboard, pushing it down deep and then packing it down so it's really solid. Once the two corners are anchored, from the other end, you'll pull tight and the wire will drop right down into the, into the groove. And you can pull tight on the other wire and because it's anchored at these two corners, the wire won't come out. Then all you have to do is come along with your clipboard and make sure the wire is pushed down all the way along. Start by turning on your activator by pushing the power button. You'll notice when the lights come on, the sync light will flash orange. It'll flash orange for about a minute and then it'll start flashing green as it finds the satellite signal. Now that the sync light is solid green, now we need to plug in the loop. First, make sure there's no snow caught in the end. You can blow it out like this. Next, find the white arrow at the top and align it to the white arrow on the activator. Push it in, half twist, and the loop light turns solid green. When all four lights are solid green, you're ready to start. The next is to take your loop checker. Your loop checker has a special LED that lights up red when you're inside the magnetic field of the loop. When you walk across the loop, the light will turn red when you're inside the field and will turn off when you're outside the field. So the a magnetic field is over my head. And so now we know that no matter where the chip comes through the field, it will be activated in this zone. And the final test is to take a real race chip and to walk through the loop to make sure that it gets read by the phone and that time gets synced to the server.